when you're starting off on mouse and keyboard the first tip i want to give you guys is basically aim train a ton once you aim train you will literally have full control over your input you need to aim train for at least an hour or 30 minutes somewhere in between that but um yeah it's basically just aim train every day before you get on and another thing i want to say is obviously stick to mouse and keyboard you don't need to be switching back and forth between controller and keyboard you need to stick to one input even if you're getting slammed on keyboard and you know that you'll slam somebody on controller if you pick up your controller don't pick up your controller because this will slow you down and this will slow your progression you want to stay on mouse and keyboard even if you're getting slammed another thing is when you're selecting your keybinds don't try to use anyone else's settings this will slow you down because you're trying to use someone else's settings that was made for them that is what they feel comfortable with. This is why I don't recommend using anyone else's settings because that doesn't mean you're gonna get used to them as quickly as the other person did. You need to find your own binds and you need to practice in creative as much as you can using those binds. You will probably switch them around a couple of times, but it'll all be worth it when you just try to use your own binds, your own sense. And with sense, another thing I wanna mention is don't change it too much. I've had my same sense for three years. Once you keep your sense, you will literally build muscle memory and you'll be so smooth everything will just flow you'll be able to edit you'll be able to aim you'll be able to fight movement will become better everything will be super smooth so don't change your sense up too much so another thing people struggle with when starting on mouse and keyboard is building because they don't know how to build a pattern once you build a pattern you'll basically know what to press and when to press it so basically let's just start off with 90 so we're going to just place the floor ramp wall just go slow with this. You don't have to speed run. You don't have to try to speed run it. Once you get used to it, yes, you can speed run, but go slow at first so you know what you're pressing and you know when to press it. So literally just go wall, floor, ramp. And you can just do that. You can go slow just like that. And then once you feel like you got the pattern down, you can go faster and then you can start and then it'll just get smoother. Just like that. Just build a pattern and come in creative, crank, just start off with learning 90s first. That's the most basic thing. Don't try to build all these crazy high ground retakes. Just start off with 90s. That's what I did when I started. And I built the pattern and it basically just helped me learn those binds so much quicker than just trying to like free build or anything. I recommend starting off with 90s because that's what helped me progress way quicker with my binds and basically knowing when to press at what time. It's all about building a pattern. So now I'll be showing you guys how to box up pretty slowly. This is much easier than cranking 90s. I always start off with putting the cone first so I can know that I have a cone in my box because you don't want anybody being able to exploit a cone into your box. So basically you just come here. I start off from this side. I just put a wall, 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 floor, cone, just like that. And like I said, same thing with the 90s. You don't have to do this super fast, but it is much easier than a 90s. So we're gonna do that again, put a cone in, wall 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 boom boom just like that it's pretty easy and like i said once you get faster just like that and yeah just build a pattern like i said and it becomes way easier all right so look at my hand cam when i say this some people play with their keyboards like this and some people play with them like this i am this way i started off this way and i cannot do this way because I'm so used to this way. So whatever way you wanna hold your keyboard, make sure you start off practicing on it that way so you don't like mess up when you're trying to like switch it. If you ever wanna switch it, just make sure you start off with that style because it'll be very hard for you to press certain buttons because me, I can't reach certain buttons and it feels weird holding it that way. But whatever is more comfortable for you, that's what I suggest you use. All right, so just like you can hold your keyboard in different ways, there's different ways that players grip their mouse. This is like a claw grip where these two front fingers are basically standing up, which I don't like because basically your hand is like this the whole time while you're playing. And I feel like over time, that'll be bad for your hands. So what I do is I like the palm grip where my whole hand is just resting on a mouse. And I feel like obviously with all my fingers on a mouse, I have total control over the mouse. So I do recommend this grip, but if you do like the claw grip, that is not bad. Whatever works for you, works for you. But yeah, this is the grip I recommend for me. And I'm going to show you guys an example of why I use this grip.
Okay, so which keyboard should you choose when you're starting off mouse and keyboard? Keyboard and mouse does matter. I recommend looking up what type of switches you like and how they feel. You can watch a video on what switches and basically like the explaining of switches and what they do, how they feel, how they work. But the recommended keyboard I think you should start with is a Razer Huntsman Mini because it's not too fast and it's not too slow. And then once you get done, I mean, if you do like other keyboards, you can work your way up. This is my Apex Pro Mini. It's a pretty good keyboard, pretty fast, pretty responsive. And then the keyboard that's plugged in right now is my favorite. It's the Wooting 68G, which is the fastest. But yeah, it really depends on what you like. My mouse right here is a Glorious Model D. It's an ambidextrous shape. It's pretty good, bro. And um, it has big side buttons, which I like. But like I said, at the end of the day, which I always say, whatever works for you, works for you. And whatever you're comfortable with, go with it. All right, so next we're going to talk about edit courses and should you do them? The answer is no. I say this because the builds are already placed for you and you don't need to be sitting there just editing builds that are already placed. You need to experience it firsthand and build by yourself so you can get the pattern down. You can just be able to build freely without having something already placed. Because if you think about it, what if you get into a real game? The builds are not placed for you. You have to build for yourself and also when you're fighting another opponent, you have to build by yourself. So just basically experience it firsthand and don't do edit courses. They're, they're really not worth it. Should you do box fights first or should you do PGs? It goes both ways. You can do both, but um, I recommend starting off with box fights so you can basically learn your stuff super quick because you don't want anybody jumping in on you. And you will notice that you start to panic a lot. That'll help with your panic when you're box fighting because the person is going to be super close to you. And PGs, that'll help you learn your binds pretty quick and it'll help your mechs get better because you'll want to play super protected so you don't get shot or sprayed from height. And yeah, you'll basically learn a ton while you're playing PGs. But yes, I do recommend starting off with box fights and I'm going to show you guys how I box fight. Watch the next few clips. In this map, you can literally see I'm number one on a leaderboard, TikTok Yo Reese. My YouTube name is Yo Reese. I am not lying. I'm literally wearing the skin right now. But yeah, in this map, bro, I go crazy. I'm really known for my box fights. And if you guys want to check out my TikTok, it's the same as my YouTube name. I have like 58,000 followers on that platform. But I'm trying to get my YouTube up, so I've been grinding YouTube. But I'm going to literally show you guys live how to play box fights and how I make my peaks. And I'm not gonna edit anything out. It's gonna be raw. I'll do a couple rounds though. So right here I just set up over here. He gets that. We don't panic. Slow down. Literally just wait. Wait your time. We get free damage. He's gonna rush in. I'm here. That's return fire. We just come in. We chill. And now he's gonna be here. And then we get the free damage just like that. Never panic in box fights and always take your time. That's what I truly recommend when you're playing box fights. It'll help you with your panic because they're so close to you and you don't want to die so you will have to take your time don't panic just stay here i'm chilling he might drop here so just we're gonna go up we're gonna pressure him fake the pickaxe one time it's gonna come down and then we get his toes is that easy i'm literally gonna walk you guys through every round and they will quit just like that because you will literally be able to stomp on them and predict everything they do start off with box fights so you can make people quit like that and you can just slam your opponent every single time all right so we are back in another match let's see how this one is gonna go i usually just scope out my opponent's abilities before i kill them but if i can literally just set them up like that it's gonna edit I might spray right here so we just reset hide behind a right peak every time you edit do not do any left peaks unless it's a smart left peak most of the time you need to create angles that your opponent can't see you from because then you can literally hit him every time. That's a 45 head dink. We're gonna come here, get the wall back, wait for him to jump, and then he's gonna come here. And we literally just pre-fire all the common edits. You really wanna take box fights as slow as possible. It doesn't matter if your opponent is calling you cringe because you're supposed to take these things slow. So don't worry about anyone saying, oh, you're playing cringe, you're playing super cringe. It's because you need to play like this. You need to play like this and you need to take your time because in game, what do you do? You take your time because you don't want to get eliminated. But that doesn't mean play scary though. You need to be aggressive sometimes as well, especially when you do damage to them because that's how you will get the kill every single time. Just come here, he's gonna try to pre fire. We just sit back and we come over here and create more space. Maybe get a pre fire here. If not, we just take his wall just like that. It's another easy way to take walls. He's gonna sit here, he's getting impatient. Did not get the damage, take it slow, and we're gonna pop our fish. So we're gonna come back, he's here. I'm gonna fake it. Come back, we're chilling, he might spray it out. We got the crack, and now we're gonna chill. 
free fire just like that he gets over aggressive all you need to do is hit your shots and that's pretty much it so you just come over here boom do an edit like that he's open and he's literally stuck if you literally know how to make peaks and box fights it'll help you out so much more and then you can do exploits like that just come over here he comes he might go down down here he's in my cone pokeball now we just chill make a right hand come here another one don't panic don't panic you can spray a little bit though never panic always keep your arm steady so you don't miss your shots never miss your shots or you will die that's why i tell you to aim train because if you want to come this far and become this good all you have to do is aim train and listen to all the tips i told you and you'll literally be able to predict players just like this and literally beat them because like this guy is pretty good but obviously like i just know how to play and i came a long way so hopefully you guys do use these tips man because they really will help you progress very quickly when you're starting off on keyboard so we're going to get a little bit more aggressive because he's trying to play back now we're going to come over here he went down put this here you might edit got a headshot on him right there so we're going to come here don't panic we just back up slowly and we pop our heels pop our minis now we might push up we're going to come over here because this is not mine fake him out messed up the edits okay just hit your pre-fire always take advantage of the enemy editing like i said pre-fire every comment edit even if it's not a pre-fire just shoot there it'll literally help you out just chill here and don't be afraid to toggle either once you toggle you get a ton of damage and then we just put this back wall here and you can see that i have him up eight to zero because I'm literally reading him like a book and I'm literally using the tip that I'm telling you guys live. Like, you just can't lose, bro. I'm telling you, you won't be able to lose. That's 9 to 0, and I'm literally going to show y'all a live 10 0. And like I said, you can see he's pretty good, but I'm just out. I'm outsmarting him, and that's all you have to do when it comes to box fights. It's all about bait, and it's all about outsmarting. Just come back here. just like that and you will win every single round guys make sure you use all the tips i'm telling you so you can progress and literally play just like me and yeah bro just keep grinding bro don't stop the keyboard grind even if you're getting slammed on every day you'll literally become good and you'll just look back and be like bro i'm glad i took those tips because i'm telling y'all those are the tips i wish i would have known when i start keyboard all right so that's the end of the video and i just want to say hopefully these tips help you guys progress much quicker than you are right now and hopefully if you are playing right now and you got these tips hopefully they help you out let me know in the comments if you guys need help with anything i'm always active and i reply to every single comment make sure you like and comment on the video as well and if you enjoyed any of these tips or if these tips helped you out in any way make sure you consider subscribing man i put out a ton of informational videos that help you guys make sure to go check out some of my other videos i have a ton i also put out asmr videos hand cam videos i do keyboard reviews i just recently did a skypad full arm sleeve review and yeah i do a ton of things man so just hit that subscribe button and you literally won't regret it thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one Thank you.